Welcome to the stream. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. All right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Okay. Oh, chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. How long have you been so? A few days shy of three months. Yeah, impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. I'm going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Oh, calm down. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? the bus driver to lose control and crash the bus. Damn. The same as the second one? Or the first one? No, the dad. <coughs> Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after ten beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. Don't worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this You're not is the me? only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. <laughs> No, 
Not tonight. No way. Tanya's late. She always is these days. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic, legendary vinyl. Oh, yeah, that's... Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> hey, Bigfoot, find the goddamn vinyl, will you? There's no need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. Damn ice. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. Thanks. Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable. Like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the ten millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. I think she was a Marine sergeant of past life. It's crawled up his ass. He's being even more annoying than usual tonight. A real jerk. So what else is new? Hey, Dennis. <laughs> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! Okay, this house is haunted. You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Wow. Savage. Savage bad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? It just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. What is it? Oh, so bad.
Ooh, bad kid on the on that because it's a stove. Try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Oh, so this is the point of the Perfect distraction from this madhouse. Unless we have been on with an interest in the Sally Wichita of 1692, Shroud of Innocence. Okay. I guess I'll read it. and stuff but going to the kitchen she went then again the pot is boiling son of a bitch clock holy moly Megan Clark attendance number of days is absolute. Hello, this tidy. Ouch. I mean, she is present most of the time. I mean, she could be sick or something. Where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me... You could be right about my family. I think so, too. Tanya! What's going on? That little brat locked me out! It's fucking freezing! I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. What? what? Shit! Megan! You in there? Uh. 
The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan!
Hello. And welcome back. I have a new story for you. It's very I different see. to the last. Okay. And what do you have for me? Disconcerting, no? Yep. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. Oh. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. I see. As for you. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's I happened see. has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? Not really. Okay. You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. Mm, there are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless, and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts, so much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? How about there is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self. Be true. It's actually a term I want to use. Okay, but uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am. Apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace.
international out of there. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. <laughs> Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? Oh. How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Nobody but you. And how dismissive. Same as the first one. Try to be with John and Calvin now again. Damn. Let's get that. She is a bit deceitful in her form. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. Okay. <clears throat> Doctor. Fucking thing, useless piece of crap! May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Ugh. Anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? I'm David Taylor. So. Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John. You're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character-building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others oh. are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, yeah. then head towards town. See if we can find some help. You're wrong. 
we oh. stay here, someone will come down this road sooner or later. What is your problem? Relax, will you? I'm just not a girl who likes walking in the dark. The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. Oh, cool. Save that. See the place it's just... And yeah. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. There we go. John's fan kicked in the top. Yeah. This is a much better option. This is insane. Okay. So there is about fifteen pictures. I can't believe the driver just taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Yeah. Curious. Yes. Good to see you two, finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you yeah. two. <laughs> Good work. What's the plan now? 
Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. That was not a good move. Oh no. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? <laughs> Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. You're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please yes. just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. Yeah. How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into town is probably our yes. best shot at finding help. Come on. Fine. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. Come with us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere with you. Are you just afraid? What? I walked away from you! Uh-huh. So you thought better of going it alone then? Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait, what are you doing? Taylor, look out! What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back! I walk straight out every time! It's like, I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something! Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to she go back that joking. way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. That is a little odd. More than a little. Whoa. It's not possible. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. No, okay. what can we do? Calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. Okay. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job. Ooh. Hit song. Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right I need to think straight. All Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help 
or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. Exactly. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Ooh, that cat. I don't that like the look of that place at all. Nice and love it. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? I know something is up with you. You said I wasn't your boyfriend. Like, what a joke idea that is. <sighs> Are you for real? Our bus gets totaled, we get lost in fog, and your headline is some dumbass label? You're admitting boyfriend is not a label that you use for me. So what the fuck am I then? We don't need a label, do we? Come on. So what exactly are we then? I don't know what we are yet. I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. Are we standing here all night or are we going inside? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped there too? Sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years. Of Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. It's right there if you change your mind. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to... Not for me. You don't get drunk. Why are you even here? Little hope. Ah, John. Is it? Curious. 
Fashionable. A barbarian. Love it. This is just it. Irrational or ever being beyond it. The town it used to be. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. Why are you still here? Yeah, if the place is as dead as you say, what are you still doing here? I come and go. You know how it is. Anyway, I can't help you. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless, just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. <clears throat> you need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> Fine. At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double twenty. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. That is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Yes. Give me a whole view. So. This is a lot to cover. I vaguely remember what happened here. He All the factories closed down. He writes for the Civ Corporation. At Little Hope Town Hall Monday last night, the last president of the town met with emergency manager Kathy Flint to vote for this corporation. Since it's the closure of the Raven Den textile factory, a mass exodus to save the town was fear and hurry. Flint was appointed as emergency manager to administer the public service to the remaining residents. But the last round at bank foreclosed means the last of the town's roads are planning. To pack up and move on. Okay. Oh. Gene, 16, I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Wonder why that was smashed. Why is this? Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and. You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Uh -oh. Did 
You hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Yeah. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. I come to Creepy Central just to get a top up. What does that mean? Uh -oh. Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? I have a bad feeling about this. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural. Uh -huh. What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. Or some other spiritual significance. Whatever mm -hmm. it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. Oh, my. I've heard more than enough, thank you. Oh. Who is that one you know? I'm sorry, I, I didn't scare you, did I? I don't know which is scarier. Whatever this is, or your morbid interest in it. I'm not superstitious, but stuff like what happened to us with the fog? Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. Yeah. Ooh. Insecure. Fearful. Detached. Not really. Hello. Can you two make an effort to keep up? Yeah, yeah. Can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two, we need to stick close. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. 
Wait for us. What is that? Oh, no. There is something very weird about this fog. Stay close. I'm wondering if the fog wants to keep us here. Won't let us leave. Feel bad for him overlooking looking at that list. Hey, come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Secrets at the beginning. Good. Oh, his hand. Yeah. It looks weird. What is your name, sir? Dressed like that. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my. Did you just have to end the She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see what the trouble are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Amy! Hey, Amy! Come back here! There's someone else out here. By the fire. Why? Well, I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? This place is all wrong. 
Whatever happened here, it's over now. You have no clue. You didn't see what we saw. I don't get it. What exactly happened here? This young girl came out of the fog. Spoke to us. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary... Did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Oh, she never did anything. She just wanted to him to play with her. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. So You're kidding me. Today. Got a better idea? Thought not. rather quickly. That man. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Mm. Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, Spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Mm. Or maybe she simply is trouble. She just wants a hair. Anyway, where Hair-tale. are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps... He represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Not really. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. So there's a pop picture, he says. I'm gonna end the chair.